He choked on the words to the Pledge of Allegiance. Liberty and justice for all. For Stephen Avery, liberty and justice have been a long time coming. So then I told the old lady to leave. After tearfully telling his story to lawyers, lawmakers, and judges, Avery sat down with us. Is it harder being out than you thought it was going to be? Some days. Some days I just think, uh, might as well go back in. I ain't got to deal with it no more, you know? But I can't do that. Three of Avery's five kids won't even speak to him. His wife left him, and no settlement nor apology um, so can fix that. I'd rather have my wife back and my kids and my family. That was the most important thing in my life. Stephen Avery didn't have to come here today. He plans to share his story so that mistakes made in his case are not repeated. The task force which met today hopes to have specific recommendations on how to change the system by this time next year. Reporting in Madison, Vince Vetrano, today's TMJ4.